Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. Let's jump on in. Oh my god, what a seven win streak. Since when? Since when? And we get a little old Judas to uh I was like excited for a moment and I realized it's not um it's not thingy Judas. And so we have a harder time with this guy. Ooh. The respray of a book of Belial looking pretty sexy. But yeah, I realized that this is a uh, low HP Judas that doesn't have dark arts. Not quite as good, as oh, especially in a room as evil as this. What the hell? Okay, I'm going to have to take this real nice and slow. Real nice and slow, because this is a very risky room. I think this is not actually that hard. I've just got to play it right. I love the fact that you can do this. You can use kind of like the gravity momentum there to angle tears in ways that you normally can't fire in. It's quite a cool little tactic. It's like a, it's like one of those, uh, I don't know if any of you watched it um, or have watched them in the past because I don't think there's been a new one for a little while. But um, Gorringe, uh, oh, that's so useful. Thank God. Gorringe did like a video series. Uh, he's done a few of them now actually where it's like uh, things that pro players do. Oh, what the hell? I don't remember this little spewer at all. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good, uh, it's, it's a pretty wacky, uh, like, pathing, but it's actually really good. It's covering a lot of the room and it's giving us slow. So I kind of don't want to take any more pills. But yeah, Gorin did, like, a, a series of, like, things that pros do. I think that's definitely, like, one of those more advanced tactics. It's not even, like, it's crazy, like, out there or, like, why'd I do that? Uh, for some reason, I, I used the active thinking this was a double-sized room, and then I realized it's not. And so I've kind of just wasted my uh, my use of my active there. But let, let's just carry on anyways. I love the way a little spewer looks here. But yeah, I feel like it's not even like that out there of a tactic. It's not anything like super cool or crazy. It's just kind of one of those things that it's like, once you realize you can do it, there are so many rooms especially in the early game when you're playing as characters like Judas that it applies to you that you're just like oh damn like if you didn't know about this this room would be so much harder and obviously that one there was a, a huge example of that a huge 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 example of that uh but anyways let's keep her going um I'm trying to think of the question of the day today I don't have one off of the top of my head. Let's just go with a, a, a relatively broad one. What's a boss idea that you have for the Binding of Isaac? One that would be thematic to the game, not just, oh, I had this boss from Final Fantasy or something. I mean, as in like, what sort of religious reference do you think could could really make its way into Isaac be very fitting? And also, on top of that, if you have, if you have like more of a fleshed out idea of attack patterns or uh, additional things on top of it, please do leave them as well. I always enjoy reading them. It just comments in general. I've said this a thousand times already, but I always, like, restate it whenever I can. People, leave comments as much as you possibly can, even if it's just saying hello. Also, Wooden Horn is incredible for us. We're just going Blue Baby here. I think we can easily go um, down to the downpour. Uh, yeah, um, even if it's just to say hello, I will most certainly say hello back. I almost always, I can't guarantee this just because it depends on the day, but I almost always try to reply to every comment on the video within 20, the first 24 hours. And I guarantee that I always reply to every comment within a week. Like, I literally, every, like, maybe day or two, go to the, um... There's, like, a... In the YouTube studio, there's, like, a section where you can just look at all comments. It'll show me, like, comments even if it's on a video from, like, seven years ago or whatever. I don't think I have any videos from seven years ago, but you know what I mean. Um, ooh, no thank you. Uh, hmm. <sighs> Spider butts, like. I kind of want it. Like, I think I'm gonna take it. Like, I, I just think we've got this nice little slowing stuff going on right now. It's also just a, a very, very good, um way of getting ourselves a bit of extra DPS here. I'm actually surprised that didn't give us any spiders there, because both of them went headless. But if we manage to kill any, any enemies with it, we get spiders for it. It's got a lower charge time. It does some mass room damage. I think it's overall going to be pretty good for us. Of course, the loss of deal with the devil chance from Buckle Belial is going to be a bit sad. But yeah, like, like I was, what I was just saying is, like, I kind of, every few days, go over to that section 
and I felt that I like not replied and, and just see if, is there any comments that I haven't replied to so even if you leave a comment on a video that's old as heck you best believe I'm gonna see it and you best believe I'm gonna try reply to it the only time I won't reply to a comment is if it's just a comment that doesn't justify a response either it being stupid and me not wanting to reply or it's just a comment that a simple like and thumbs up will uh will suffice but most of the time I do try to reply to comments it's just it's like I think uh, I've said it before as well I think like going through comments is like one of my favorite parts about YouTube I'm not gonna take that pill just because I want little spewer to be the best little goober he's ever done been and he is currently being so um so I don't want to swap him over by taking another pill at the minute I'm just dropping bombs wherever I heck can right let's bomb a few of these a few of them Get some pennies here and there. Might as well go and do the boss now. Okay, we do have golden bombs for this guy, so this shouldn't be a particularly hard boss for us. I did get hit there, but... Oh, do you see that? The double bomb strategies. The double bomb strategies. I don't know why I threw that bomb down there. Oh, I didn't know you could catch him with the bomb there. Oh, we get cell heart as well. We also get Roid Rage here. Devil Deal, I think we're gonna go Angel. Our health is pretty low right now. I think I think Angel's the better way for us right now. Okay, let's see if we can find actual secret room here. But yeah, I've said it, I've said it a thousand times before, and I'll I'll keep saying it, but comments are like one of the best things about you doing YouTube. Like getting getting a high view count is all well and good. It's 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 nice. It's it's cool to see when a lot of people like your video, but you don't really get that same impact if there's not many comments because there's no like there's no identity to the people that to, to those views there's no um where's that second secret room here might be here might be here i don't actually know there it is yeah you don't really have that sort of why is there a grimace in this room what the heck i'll grab both of these you don't really get that same identity as to like you don't know who's watching and i know for for certain like there is a lot of people that just don't comment i mean i'll be honest i'm not a big commenter anyways i don't comment on a lot of the things i watch i'm a little bit of a hypocrite in that sense i'll be honest um i don't i don't comment on many of the channels that i watch but i think it's a little different when it's a smaller creator especially like if it's someone around my channel size that I find through w whatever means. I always go out my way to like leave a comment, especially if it's like a good video. Because it's like, it's not really until you do YouTube yourself. Also, what the hell is this baby we've got here? I mean, he's firing um, great tears here. What are they? Parasitoid tears. So I'm pretty down to clown with him. I think he's pretty awesome. But I'm a bit confused as to what he is. Revive you as Eve when you die. Well, that sounds very useful. I don't plan on dying, but it's not out of the question. Good, good. Right. Yeah, like, it's once you sort of do YouTube yourself, I know a few of you out there might have done YouTube, some of you maybe haven't, but um, when you do YouTube, you kind of realize the struggles you kind of go through as a smaller content creator, and so you become a lot more, like... I wouldn't say accepting, I've always been accepting, but you become a lot more, like, aware of the struggles of other smaller channels, and so you kind of go out your way to support that. Um... Do you know what? I didn't know that this had so many effects. I'm going to take the watch battery. I realise a revive is just far and away way better, but right now, at least, we don't need an extra life. And it's like... Reviving as Eve is is good, but if I don't need it, I feel it's just kind of a wasted spot. This is a crazy little dumpy room here. I'm going to leave that bomb there for now. <laughs> Controversial move, I know, but don't want to have to deal with that. I think Spider-Butt's doing a really good job right now, honestly. We're uh, getting quite a lot of spiders out of killing enemies, which is kind of the, the main idea. The main idea indeed. Oh, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little bit upset today. Do you know why? Because I was like, okay, so I woke up this morning and it 
Well, it's like the most lovely day it's ever been. <laughs> like, it, over the past few months, the weather here has just been absolutely horrendous. Ooh. Uh, da, 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 da. That's pretty good, but we're not getting many cards or pills right now, so I'm going to skip it. Ah, uh, do you know what? That's not awful. It is one-off bookworm, so I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. But yeah, so like I, I woke up this morning and I could feel the heat from the window. And then I look outside and I'm like, oh my god, it's absolutely lovely today. Absolutely gorgeous day. Thought it looked amazing. I think this is secret. I'm going to check this way as well, just in case. Uh, so I was like, okay, no, it's not there. Dang, son. So yeah, I was like, oh cool, it's an absolutely beautiful day today. And then I, I like I did some work in the morning, um, and then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go for a little walk and have like a snack and a little drink. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, I thought just 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 go for a little jaunt. And then I head outside, and literally within five minutes of me heading outside, it gets in. Like when I walk, when I actually walked out the house, it was still lovely. Absolutely, just great. Uh, what pill are we gonna get here? A health up. This has been absolutely stellar. Kind of want to go devil deals now. Uh, but yeah, so I, I walk out and I'm like, ooh, ooh, it's very nice. And I walk for like five minutes to the Tesco, get myself a snack and a drink, walk out the Tesco. Apparently, we would have got bookworm anyways. So that's a little bit, that's a little bit depressing. Um, yeah, walk out and then, unfortunately, a massive cloud comes over, it gets really windy, and it's no longer warm. But, I'd already committed to the idea of going out and having myself a little snack and a drink. Even though I went out without a jacket, and it was freezing cold, I'm like, nah, I've committed to this lifestyle. I will not yield. You will not best me, weather. The UK is such a fickle bitch when it comes to the weather. Like... It will literally drastically change what- Oh my god, I'm getting hit too much here. Luckily we've got quite a lot of HP going on. But it will literally drastically change what the weather's like from, from day to day. Like, it can literally be snowing one day and then be, like, clear sky sunny. It makes absolutely no sense. It's, it's one of the most frustrating things. Like, I think, like, it's kind of a meme that the people in the UK complain about the weather. Like, I think it's a well-known fact, like, around the world that people in the UK just like to complain about the weather and it's not even that we complain about it being too rainy or too cold or too whatever it's because it's so fickle it can never decide like if you want to be cold and rainy all the time then just be cold and rainy all the time and it's not even like oh my god this rebirth is terrible on this room um, it's not even like, oh, well, these months are rainy and cold, and these months are snowy, and these months are sunny. It's like, nah. Nah. There is, like, some general guideline as to when it's cold and when it's warm, but it doesn't really matter. Like, the, the, the world doesn't care. This room has been going on for 16 years. Release me from this prison that is this single room. Release me from this nothing I have become. My lord, that took a while. And it, yeah, it's just like, for God's sake, just like, decide what you want to be and stay that way, please. See, that, that's where Spider-Butt pops off. I think Spider-Butt's one, uh, one of those actives as well, where if you, kind of like Box of Spiders or a few of those, where if you get it with like AAA battery or like 9 volt and you can charge it in one room, it's obscene how good it is. Like, uh, full full damage to an entire room. I know it's only 10 damage, but still, full damage to an entire room's great. Then on top of that, the ability to spawn spiders. Then on top of that, it's a slur. It's just, it stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks. I think I'm about ready to um, switch up my... Yeah, do you know what? I got a better one. This this one still slows, but it slows in a little bit more of an aimable and manageable setup. It doesn't quite cover the same amount of area, I'll admit. But I think it's a little better because we can actually, like, more accurately aim it where we want it to go. And yeah, I feel like that's one of the things like, oh, UK, oh, it's just people complaining about the weather. It's like, we do. I'll admit, we do complain about the weather quite a lot. But it's just because it's it, it never knows what it wants. Like, it's it's 
right now in the UK, it's meant to be cold and miserable. Like this is this is like a month of it supposed to be shitty. But no, it's not it's not always shitty. It's just sometimes shitty. And the worst part is as well, the weather is so unlikely to be correct, like as in weather forecasts, that you basically can't plan for anything correctly. Like, it's so difficult. Also, can we get a key gear? I'm really hoping we can get a key gear. Oh, for God's sake. Rebirth, stop! <laughs> stop! My lord! Rebirth is just, like, popping off right now. Come on, last room for us to get a, a key. I mean, we could try and find our secret rooms, but... It's not a super reliable method, I'll, I'll admit. Right. Let's have a little look around then, shall we, before we have to skip out on our item room. He is definitely plausible. Yeah. Well, this is potentially pretty good anyways. Keys will drop more often. Fuck you. <laughs> Actually, fuck you. Um, we got a... St okay, so Stars card immediately solves our primary concern. And gives us a lot of money. Uh, ooh, and we can bomb into our shop as well. This is all going quite well. Of course, the item we got wasn't particularly good. What else we got in here then? So we got... Jack of Spades will take, we'll take that to the next floor. Fool. Strength. Fool. Wheel of Fortune, World, and Bacana. Okay. That was a really weird, like, animation there. I don't know what happened. But we'll take that. We get Birthright. How does this work? Becomes a passive item similar to the Book of Virtues. Receiving the Book of Belial if you're not currently holding it. The damage boost received from it scales with the amount of charges the active item has. Grants special effects on certain active items. Well, that's, of course, pretty heckin' good. Now, I have to go and see. Do we gain a special effect with spider Boy? Unlikely. Um, Judas Isaac. I wonder if it'll say on his page or I'll have to go to the birthright item page. Okay, I think we have to go to the birthright item page. Birthright, Isaac. Let's have a little look-see, shall we? I don't know where to find this. Maybe it's on the Book of Belial page? It's kind of hard to find. Um, Book of Belial. This is kind of tricky. It surely has got to be on this page, right? Judas's birthright combinations. Okay. So. It doesn't look like there's an effect here. I'm trying to look at other items that do have effects, though, so we can make sure we know which ones to take. Of course, one of the coolest ones is, um, is the flamethrower angel items. I hope we get that. Urn of Souls, that's the one. Doesn't look like we're going to get any special effect, but at least now we get the best of both worlds here. See, it, it, it all it all kind of worked out. I was right to take the... Um, I was right to take the, the active that I took. It ended up working out in my favor. favor. But this, this is actually the first time I've had Judas's Birthright. Also, just a, just a hot minute as well. I know I'm pausing a lot. I do apologize for those of you that are watching and enjoying, but... Those of you that are watching and aren't enjoying, fuck you, of course. No, I'm joking. But I swear that I'm using the Birthright mod. Uh, it should be, like, one of the most unique Birthright sprites. I'm using the unique Birthright sprites mod, but it's not working. <laughs> I don't know why. Hmm. Anyhow, let's just continue on. I'm not sure why it's not working. I'm sure someone will be able to tell me. Okay, let's put that down. And we'll pop that. That's a lot of spiders, nice. We get the damage up effect. Here's our first angel dealer. Fire rate up's huge for us here as well. We got an immortal heart, that's great. And we get immaculate heart, which is also very, very good. And yeah, I think we're sitting pretty now. Let's head to the next floor. I'm liking this. We've got a good setup right now. I think 
getting a two room charge book of Belial is, is good. We'll pop this to hopefully get some more uh, key drops. We'll be popping this on the regular. Whenever we can. I love the little puff it does there. That little, uh... oh my lord. A little puff of like red smoke. But yeah, hopefully because we've used that card, we should get a few more key drops. Hey, the immortal heart saving us there. Awesome. Yes, I like this. I like this a lot. But yeah, essentially, we can get hit once per room. It's like a holy mantle. It, these immortal hearts are so strong. They're great. Pop that in there. There's some keys, baby. And we're going to try and find our item room. Shop isn't obviously a concern this floor. We don't really have the funds to uh, make it work. But so far, this room's got some sauce to it. And I like that. I like sauce. Okay. Might be able to... Nah, I was going to say, I might be able to get a secret room, but the spiders kind of messed it up. More keys. Good, good. More keys. More keys. More keys. More keys. Do, 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 do. Oh, bloody hell. Go away. My, uh, my dude is distracting the... Uh, what's he called? Um, scapegoat dude is, like, distracting the attention of those little hoppers. And thus, I can't actually find where the hell they, they, they are. I'm so lost. More keys. Okay. This card is pretty strong. <laughs> I was expecting to get, like, two or three more this floor. We went from zero to eight. Also, this is a bit of a weird room. Okay. Got to prepare for that. I think with Immortal Hearts as well, I can only ever take half a heart of damage. So even once I get to the womb floors... The Immortal Heart's still going to be, like, super valuable. Got you. Gives us plus three damage as well. I didn't realize it would be quite that much. That's another key. Obviously not related to the card, but still good. Oh, no, I lost my Immortal Heart because there was creep on the floor that I didn't see. <gasps> Jacob's Ladder. That is an item that I have not seen in a while. It's been a hot minute since I've had this. Yeah, it really has. It's been a very long time. Try that out. Eh heck. When I have so many bombs, I just kind of throw them wherever. Even, even if it's ones that, like, potentially can't exist, I'm still like, try it out. Why not? Did you see how close that guy got to me then? That was a bit bum-clenching, I've got to say. Yeah, I'm not really sure where Secret Room is this time around. But I'm not going to go through that room anymore because I don't want to. And we're going to head on our way. But this, uh, this run's been sort of filled with some really, really nice and good items. We'll, we'll, we'll use that to get the damage boost and also it's going to kill um, first few flies and give us some spiders. One thing I am a little curious of, when it creates spiders, does it create spiders using the damage? Because spiders deal two times your damage. So does it create spiders using the damage value that we had before we used the Book of Belial or after? Unfortunately, this isn't great. I'm not a huge fan of taking a bunch of pills, but with balls of steel being right there, I'm pretty happy to try these out and a shot speeder. Okay, that was pretty decent. And we yet again bail. I kind of want to go here, but I also don't want to trade my soul hearts away. Let's just carry on. Carry on my wayward son. One second. Let's go. I, I'm, I'm keeping like a close eye on our buddy in a box here because there's a lot of them I haven't seen yet, apparently. I don't know if any mods that I'm using add any buddy in a boxes. It'd be kind of weird if they did, but it's potential. Tears, um, hookworm. I don't think we need hookworm particularly. Got the slow effect here, lovely. I think I killed that ghost. I'm not 100% sure. No, I don't think I did, actually. There's one more. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to go to this cash room here. I think we're uh, set up for it. And we indeed get a crimson chest as a reward. Nice. Blood clot. It's not the best, but it's not bad. I, I really like those crimson chests. They're very cool. So it's maybe a little overpowered to have the ability for a, cr uh, a crimson chest to spawn. Uh, ooh, we'll definitely pop that. 
uh, for a crimson chest to spawn in the same room as a cracked key because that's just a free red item and while the red item pool does have some stinkers it's it's also got some really strong items like sacred heart <laughs> so i don't know maybe that's a little strong but then again at the same time i think crimson chests are kind of a trap they're they're, they're a really cool design and they utilize an underused mechanic in the in the ultra secret room pool but in doing that you have to add in things to enable their, their usage to enable you to open them which of course is like the cracked keys that spawn in situations such as that that cash room and obviously the more um the, the sort of more popular one that we see which is the uh, tinted spiked rocks but the sort of power balance the problem with that Ooh, Hive Mind is a huge get if we can grab that. The sort of power balance and the, the big problem with that kind of more so comes from the fact that the cracked keys are really, really strong outside of opening crimson chests. Like, you could get the cracked keys, which we do often actually, and not use them for a crimson chest, or not even see a crimson chest. And so... You add in this enabler, you add in this this sort of me mechanism to enable you to, to actually use these crimson chests, an underused mechanic, which has, which as you guys know, I'm always sort of down to clown with trying to take underutilized mechanics and bring them more to the forefront. But it creates a little bit of a weird dynamic, I think. It creates a bit of a weird situation where you're getting some stuff that's a little too powerful, maybe. Like, I, I, I know that the developer has been, like, constantly tweaking the chances for cracked keys and bloodied rocks and all that good stuff, so it's nothing crazy. Uh, we should also bomb this guy. It's nothing crazy, like, it's not going to be, um, like, you're getting them every single run all the time. But still, ooh, it's Bumbo. Eh, uh, do you know what? I'll take a Bumbo. I do need the money from the donation machine, though, so don't you dare steal that from me, okay? I thought I, I did use a card that meant we, we should get more money drops, right? Like, I've had a few, but I was expecting, considering the amount of keys we got, to, for the money drops to be a little more impactful than they're currently being. I'm, Jacob's Ladder's screwing me a little bit. I'm trying to use Spider Butt at the perfect time when the enemies are. No! You shyster. To be fair, I can at least do this. I'm trying to get up to 15 cents, so you stay away from my pennies. I like the way that the uh, blood donation machines retain your uh, rotten hearts if they can. It's a nice touch. One second. Right, let's keep it going. Sp uh, spider, but sorry. Um, hive mind is going to be huge for us. We have massive damage boost. Also, I, li I really like the uh, the Bumbo resprite that I've got that just makes him look a little more like the Bumbo game and like like he does in the uh, Four Souls card game version. He just looks a lot more, I don't know. Right. This shouldn't be too difficult. Of course, unfortunately, I didn't leave my active available. Probably a mistake on my behalf there, but there you go. I'm really hoping we just get the um, Holy Flamethrower now. Like... Angel, we, we could get a Devil or Angel deal here. It's not really guaranteed Angel. We might not get either, to be honest, but I'm hoping for an Angel, of course. I'd take a Devil, though. We got a lot of HP. Okay, we did get an Angel. We're going Blue Baby, so we'll take that. We got the Mind. That's pretty good. Also, a nice Resprite on the Mind as well. Ooh, and also a new costume for the Mind. I forgot about that. Oh, look at Judas's Fez, like, embedded into the brain there. That's really cool. Um, unfortunately, we can't get to that secret room. But yeah, now having full mapping is actually super valuable for these remaining floors because these are the floors that I tend to speed through. Also, we can get stuff like that mini boss there a bit easier. And uh, now knowing it's there. If, how many times, by the way, have people out there had it where they've had like a floor, like the womb, for example? One of the floors where you tend to just go straight for the boss and nothing else. Where. Ooh, virus is nice. Good, good. Where um, you've gone and it's, it, there's, there's been zero combat rooms. I've had it like two or three times where there's been like four or five rooms between the starting room and the boss and not a single one has been combat. It's a weird occurrence when it happens because you're a bit like, um, was this was this on purpose? Probably shouldn't have bombed through there, but oh well. 
Again, I probably also shouldn't have used my active until the boss, but we, we could just go to another room at the end of the day. Check this out. Oh, hello. We also got one of these hearts, which is rather nice. More rotten hearts. Rotten hearts are super valuable for us right now. Because um, we've got hive mind. Good, good. Active's ready. Let's go get it. This is just for the damage boost, really. Okay, you stop being a terrible, terrible boss. God damn, this boss has way too many iframes. Oh, we got some money there for us. I don't know what that was from. Oh, uh, it must be from our, yeah. I was just about to say, it must be from our baby. And there you go. That is spun. We got all stats up there um, on the stats that mattered at least. And we are good to go. Good to go. And again, let's beeline down. But yeah, I really like this new costume and re-sprite from the man. Do you know what, Bumba? I'm going to feed you up, buddy. You can get a full-on feeding frenzy. Ooh. Okay. I've just noticed something. So, you see up here, we've got this heart with the flies on it. I believe the way those work. In fact, I will, I will make sure that I'm getting this information correct. Because I owe it to y'all. Let's go have a look. Um... Repentance plus, there you go. And then it's on pick up some other, I believe. And then we can go down to the hearts. Okay. Um, always occupies the right most soul black heart. Um, disappears when the heart isn't attached. Uh, well, the heart is attached to is fully depleted. For every empty heart the player possesses, they gain one abyss locust when entering a new floor. And it's a random abyss locust as well. And we gained, I believe, either the fruitcake or the Play-Doh cookie one. Because if you take a look, there's a fly hovering around us that is just flashing like a fucking rave. So, if my thinking is correct, having one of these hearts plus like a blood donation machine would be incredibly powerful. Like, really, really OP. But yeah, we're going to be applying like a lot of random status effects, I think via this little dude, which is definitely good with me. Pop through here real quick. But yeah, we maybe want to try and find a blood bank donation machine if we can manage to keep this heart alive. I'm sorry, dude. I took, I took some of that from you. Hello, donation machine. Was not expecting you. It seems likely that we can keep it around for a little bit. Well, yeah, I need to find a decent way to empty my hearts so I can get a few more of these bad boys. But for now, we've got one empty heart. As long as we don't pick up any red hearts, we can keep that empty. We, of course, have got to not lose the heart, too. There's a, there's a few different caveats to this. Okay. Oh, I missed my second secret room. I don't know. I, I just phased right past it. It is right here. What the fuck? <laughs> this is a little crazy. I don't really know where I want to be going here. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time trying to suss out where on earth the uh, red room is. I'm just going to try a few things and see what works. If it doesn't end up working in our favor, then so be it. Right. Excuse me, big jumpy lumpy. I'm trying to think of some other spots that these could work in. It's it's a little bit of an awkward setup, really. We've got four of them to use. We've got to run back and forth quite far to do much with them. I mean, I suppose... I s let me try something. So let me go kill the boss first. So I'll, I'll try and kill the eyes with... Nope, that did not work. Yeah, my fly is doing a, a great job of giving it random status effects. Okay, we might lose our heart here because uh, he's having a hard time deciding what enemy he wants to shoot at. Which one of us wants to shoot at. A hey, we leveled you up. We get this. Uh, we've got quite a lot of time on that. 
Sacred Heart, baby. Unfortunately, that does uh, mean our heart is now filled, but we got quite a lot of damage from that. So yeah, I just want to quickly check out. Could I maybe just do this? Go like over here, over here, and then like one more. This might not work the way I'm planning it to, to be honest, but I feel like it's worth a try. Ah, unfortunately, it didn't work the way I wanted it to. I was trying to um, get off of the map to create an error room, but I didn't know which, like, how close I was to the edge. So that didn't really work out. But whatever, we can go to Hush now. I wasn't planning on going to Hush, but it's available to us, and we have more than enough damage to make it work. <laughs> we also have more than enough keys to make this, like, worthwhile too, so... A lot of good on our side here. Curse of the Blind makes it a little more annoying, but we'll just take what we take, get what we get. Whoa, what the hell is our uh, uh, is our baby? Okay, didn't miss out on too much there. And a eh, little upset about that one. And why not? We've got plenty of, okay, wait, I forgot. I'll let you take the rest. Ooh, card reading's decent. Card reading's decent for the next floor. Right, let's go. Let's do this thing. This shouldn't be all too hard at all for us here. Of course, we've got homing. Um, we don't have a great ability to create flies, but our watch battery, um, I think, can generate some batteries during the fight. Also, Bumbo's going to do a decent job of dealing damage too. I always forget about how uh, useful he can be. I'm going to be applying some crazy stats effects. I'm going to hold off on... Um, utilizing my spider butt until he spawns some enemies because if he spawns like the little blue fools i can just use it on that wave and it'll create a bunch of spiders which will deal like a ton of damage i realize i might kill him faster if i just use it to gain the plus six damage or whatever it'd be now with that it might, it might be more it might be like plus nine now actually with uh, the damage bonuses and the multipliers that we got going on unless it's not affected by multipliers but i'm fairly sure it is unfortunately there's that hit for us there So these are kind of unreliable to use it on, but I'm going to try it actually. Yeah, that worked out. Okay, nice. Okay, so we get plus five damage. Not as much as I thought it was going to be. That worked out better than I thought that would, though. I don't know what's slowing him here. But yeah, this is a pretty a pretty saucy setup. And also, I've just got to say, we got so many item resprites here that I, I'm, I'm loving showing these off. I know that a lot of them have been around for a long time. Many of you probably already use them or already seen other people using them, such as BD, BD1P and, and others. Uh, but still, I think it's I think it's cool to have them and show them off. I know some people out there, most people out there are going to watch other Binary of Isaac YouTubers as well as myself, but some people might just watch me. I have no idea. I tend to usually... When I'm like really into a game, watch multiple creators of this, uh, like, that I enjoy. I don't watch a ton of Isaac content anymore. I still uh, check out Alexa's series every now and again. Obviously, checking on BD1P, see how he's just going. He unfortunately lost his uh, 244, no, 224 streak recently. Um, and then also, I check on Northern Lion whenever he uploads. Just, just, he, he could make any content on any game. I wouldn't give a shit. I'm still watching it. That man is amazing. Anyways, that about wraps that up, and then we'll go uppity uppity up. And we should be able to skip straight to the boss on this floor. We've actually gotten extremely lucky with our abilities to sort of skip around. Unless it gives us a secret room. Yeah. It gives us a secret room, Paul. Which isn't actually terrible. It does skip us some rooms. We also got a pair throw out of this, which is way, way, way better than I was expecting to get anything out of the secret room, to be honest, because now we can actually roll our four items, which is super valuable. Um, down this way. Of course, I'm not really using my active at the minute, but it's just, I, it's hard to pop it because I'm killing enemies so quickly. It's hard to actually generate spiders out of it effectively, so I'm not really trying, I'll admit. Lots of bit of HP there, not the greatest. A strength card? Eh, uh, whatever. I, I realise I could just go back after the fight, but I've committed now. I mean, I mean, really, just look. Do we really need to worry about a strength card's damage bonus? 
What I do need to worry about is a little bit my HP, but I'm having uh, a feeling that our survivability will be very much solidified in this next floor with the chests that we gain. Number one is very, very good. Okay, so I think number one is a must grab. Our range isn't amazing, but our fire rate was pretty terrible. This is good too. Um, and I think these two deserve a pair throw. Unfortunately, they're both not great, but I guess I'll take them. Nice. Cell heart, lovely. Ah, oh, it's kind of annoying that I didn't save my pair throw for this. This would have been way better. The compass. I mean, I'll, I guess I'll uh, keep that around. You've always got to have that have that glimmer of hope of an archie just in case. So I'll keep that around, and if I get a reroll, I'll make my way back around to it. You never know. I could get another pair throw, a dice shard. I could get a d6 out of one of the chests randomly. It, th there's a lot of options. There's a lot of options. Our baby has died. Poor little child. And that's a good room to use that on. There you go. Health is still not great, but we have so much damage, I really don't think it even remotely matters. <laughs> I'm going to go check out my second secret room as well, just in case there's anything saucy. Oh, you tricky little devil. That's, that's one of the cool things about those Dominics. I do think they're a little on the herky side. They're like, they're not the greatest thing in the world, but I don't hate them completely. I think they're kind of like whatever. Um, yeah, I, th I think they're kind of whatever. Like, I've got no super big grievances against them. But one of the things I do really like about them is how if you have them in positions like this where it's like there and then the doors here, you look at the map and you kind of just go automatic and think, oh, well, that's, I, that's the doors closest to me. I saw a door on the map close to me. That's got to be the one. And it's not. <laughs> There you go. 41 damage and a dream. I will take on the void if it gets if I get the option, but unfortunately I do not. But we'll end off the episode there. A very quick one, but also a very fun one. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.